Uh, Mr. Kersey, I'm glad you got on this call with me uh, this morning. Uh, and uh, I know you came to me back in February of 2019 for some serious health, serious health conditions you were dealing with for quite some time that you weren't getting relief from with the long list of medications you were taking. And you were referred in here by uh, uh, somebody you knew, know from your hometown, Joshua Peel, who's gotten great results from my care. So uh, he told me about your improvements and I'd love to be able to share that uh, what has happened for you with this work with me, with the world and because they deserve to know as well. So tell me, you how long, uh, one of the things that you told me was you, you don't have to take your blood pressure medication anymore. Is that what you said? One of them you're not taking anymore? That is correct. That is correct. I was taking metapropol, uh, the 100 milligrams, and I no longer take that medication. Uh, it's not necessary. I talked to my cardiologist about it, and he said, as long as your blood pressure is staying that low and you check it regularly, please get off. So uh, I've been taking that medication for probably 10 or 15 years, maybe longer, and I no longer take that medication. I no longer take Crestor, which is uh, a 10 milligram, which I've taken for years. Uh, it, it's not necessary for me to take that. Uh, I've, I've also stopped taking aspirin. I was taking a uh, an 81 gram daily. I've stopped taking that. I, I've stopped with the inhaler things that I've had, Spiriva and also Pro-Air. Uh, I no longer use those. So I have, uh, as I say, I've definitely edited my medications. And what, and the doctor, the cardiologist or other doctors had helped come to that, uh, uh, that recommendation or that, or that switch or that decrease in the medications. Yes. Uh, and, and, uh, you know, no explanation for it other than Dr. Herman. And, uh, you know, just things, things are getting better. There's an overall feeling of, uh, you know, feeling well uh, most of the time. And uh, that have been gone. Probably the most significant thing that I recognize is the restless legs. Uh, I've suffered from restless leg syndrome since I was a, a child, 10, 12 years old. And uh, that's been with me for over 50 years. I'm no longer have the restless leg syndrome. It, it, is, uh, it has gone away. And that, that is, to me, the most noticeable and significant thing that's happened. And uh, that's, a, that's a miracle also, which I give complete credit to Dr. Lonnie Herman for that. Thank you. Yeah, that's incredible. Over 50 years of restless legs. So something with the restless legs that probably was occurring for all those years was you probably couldn't get through the night, you know, good night's sleep because of that restless legs. Is that what was happening with you? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I had a difficult time even going to sleep. And, and I'd often get up in the night and walk and move and sleep in the recliner and uh, try to just move around at night. The sleep was unheard of. Now I'm, I'm sleeping, uh, you know, six to seven hours per night. I have to get up to, you know, to, to pee sometimes, but... Uh, you know, I'm sleeping pretty solid, and, and I'm really thankful for that. That's pretty incredible, and that was through, we only had one protocol together. There's been one exam and one protocol you followed, and that one protocol lasted you a, nearly 100 days of steps close to that. And it's that incredible improvement for you. Yes, it is incredible improvement. And uh, as I say, that there's a, a, an overall feeling of uh, that, that vibrance, I, I would say. I don't know that I would completely say vibrant, but uh, just a, a general feeling of feeling better. And, uh, you know, the, and I'm sure that's due probably to, you know, the, the, the sleep at night because I don't have restless, restless legs and uh, decrease in medication and uh, a better diet, which you recommended to me also. And the remedies that you took, those drops. Uh, those remedies, those drops that you took from me that we prescribed for you from the examination, I think yes. they made the biggest difference in you, which I'm going to talk about in just a few minutes. But you were taking for years. How many years did you take uh, for the restless legs? You had the medications. There was Requip and Mirapex. How long did you, how, yes. how long ago were those originally prescribed to you for your restless legs? Um, 
I, I've been taking the requip re for probably 15 years and uh, the Mirapex for uh, probably about seven years. And when they and, gave uh, you the second medication, because 15 years of one med, then a second medication prescribed on top of the first med for the restless legs, they gave that seven years ago. Why did they give you that second med? Was it because the first med wasn't working? Is that why the second was prescribed? Yeah, that's exactly why. And then after both of them weren't working, because I think you told me that the restless legs still went on, even though you were taking both of those medications, right? That is correct. That is yeah, correct. So, and, uh, so uh, now for the first it, time it, in these years, the restless legs have stopped. For the first time in the, in my adult life, and, and also the childhood, I would say too that it, it has stopped, and it's uh, it, it you know it's a gift. That's pretty awesome. You also had one of the other symptoms that you told me about when we first started together. I just want to get the exact words that I wrote down from you. Um, <clears throat> you had the uh, pain. There was a right lower back pain, a left lower back pain that was sharp. It was daily. Uh, it was about a, a 10 at its worst uh, from the hamstring down to the about the top of the knee area. Are you still feeling that right lower back pain and that severity and that hamstring or leg pain as well and the numbness in the leg? Uh, I, I would say it is. It, it has improved probably 60 to 70 percent. I still have lower back pain, but I'm a pretty active guy, doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I pick up wood, I move things, I work in the yard, I do a lot of things. Uh, but it is definitely, definitely without question better than it was. Uh, yes. And then I will do some of the things that, you know, that I, that I always wanted to do. Uh, and that's because of the, you know, decrease in the back pain in the hips. And you had already had a hip replacement before you came here. So the right hip was replaced. The back pain, along with all of your activity of uh, moving wood and, and digging and, and gardening and everything else that you do, all that pain was always there, even with the hip replacement and with whatever you were taking medicine wise and the therapies that you might have done. But you were doing the same activities then, but now you can actually do more activity because the back pain is decreased and the hip pain is decreased. The restless legs is gone and the blood pressure is down. You don't need all the meds for that. And it's just, it's really, and your breathing is improved. So it, it's really just incredible um, what's happened to you. And again, it was only one treatment that you've done here. So you've, you probably have more than you expected from, uh, I know what you hoped, but I told you not to expect too much and you prayed that it could happen so quickly. And for you, it has. Yes, my, my quality of life has improved w without a doubt. And uh, that that's the ultimate goal is, is quality of life. And, uh, you know, it's a better with, with the one series of protocol. And, uh, you know, I'm very thankful for that. And yeah, that's uh, I'm grateful to you, of course. Thank you. I'm grateful for you for getting on this call with me this morning and sharing this with everybody. Uh, I'm going to uh, briefly, if, if it's okay with you, can I just list a few things that I treated with you, that I found with you in the exam that brought you this relief? Is that okay with you? Please do. Yeah, I found uh, with uh, Mr. Christie or Coach Christie, right? I found in your arteries that bring blood to your kidneys, you had a botulinum bacteria, you had streptococcus bacteria, you had the parasite from malarial infection. You also had in the left kidney, you had the general anesthetic chemical called propofol from surgery. So that anesthetic had never left the kidney. And that kidney and the renal artery can result in the back pain and the leg pain. You had residues from something that was a favorite drink of yours uh, for years, Diet Coke. We found that in the kidney, which that has a toxic fake sugar in it. That's damaging the nervous system. You had sedative midazolam in there and you also had lidocaine antibiotic chemicals and mercury and lead and some malaria and uh, a mercury called thimerosal in the left kidney your right kidney you had a parasitic infection i'm sorry excuse me a fungal infection known as ringworm and you had a candida infection in there and uh, you had some uh, antibiotic residues in the right kidney as well as lyme infection lyme infection the bug from lyme in there and dental mercury in the right kidney. 
I also found in uh, your brain, stressing your brain, I found the parasite from malaria. I also found the adrenal glands were infected with the same parasites and the same bacteria. So all in all, when we can get rid of from the adrenals and we can get rid of which help produce energy and decrease inflammation, and when we can get rid of the chemicals from the kidneys and the artery to the kidney and from the brain, the result for you has been, um, as you said, nothing short of amazing or miraculous. So I am really proud to do this for you and with you, and I do look forward to seeing you again. And I'll just ask you, since you've already stated how much improvement you've had here, is there anything that you, um, you know, besides you and being generous here with your time with me to share with the world, uh, is there anything that you can tell from what you've seen with Joshua Peel and felt and experiencing now for yourself? Is there anything that you can uh, tell people about, uh, you know, any more that you can share about this work? What the possibilities are for them, maybe? Uh, I would share that don't fear going outside the box to try traditional medicine sometimes doesn't work uh have the courage to try something different and uh have faith in that and uh and, and, you know the changes are as i say for me have been uh, amazing i would encourage anyone with the, some of the symptoms that i have to see dr herman and try the protocols and, and make a judgment and and I would say probably be fearless and, uh, you know, there, there is some help out there if, if we could reach out for it. Mm. Yes. That's what I would say. Excellent. Thank you for saying that. So again, I appreciate you coming on this call today and hopefully I do get to see okay. you in what you said and, um, and, uh, give you some more help. And, uh, again, I really appreciate this and there's countless of people countless numbers of people who are going to be benefiting from your, uh, your sharing with me. And uh, again, it's, it's, it's great. So I'm happy for you and your family to enjoy this time with you again and better function and your better sleep and better energy. Uh, and, uh, and that's it. So that's all right. So we'll yeah. say goodbye now. We'll and and I'll see you sometime around Thanksgiving, I hope. Excellent. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank Have you. Have a good day. Goodbye. All right. Bye-bye.